Hello, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? Happy Thursday night to you. Rusty Champagne here with you. I hope you've had a wonderful Thursday. I did, if that's for sure. It was really, really nice around here. Once again, we had temperatures in the mid-70s. Really can't go wrong with that, especially for March. I'm telling you, it's quite wonderful. Got rained on a bit, but aside from that, it is all good. Here we are. Going to do a little bit of a chill Thursday night vibe here with some chill Thursday night taxi life. Because I have not done this one live yet, and I definitely uh, wanted to give it a whirl. So we're going to hop right in here and hop into our last save that we had. How you doing, Yoda? It's so good to see you. Glad you were here. Stinger Beast, how you doing? So good to see you. And we are, where did we leave off here? I think that we are just outside of the garage, if I remember right. So, yeah, that's where we are. So I'm going to hop into the garage and uh, see if I can get the day advanced. Because I think i got to be in the garage in order to do that. So we're going to hop in here real quick and take off the handbrake. Because, oh boy, I was not looking. That is on me. I did not look, So and I did not look again. So this has been a banner start. I've hit two cars, and we haven't done anything. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, just a little bit of damage. Brand new car, and I've <laughs> completely wrecked it in two short minutes. Okay, so let's see. I think that I have a way here. Yeah, so from here we can rest. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do because I want to get us to where we're back at daytime. So it's uh, 2,200. So we're going to do a, a rest. We're going to, okay, so if we rest for eight hours, uh, let's see. Keep in mind, the drivers are not working when you're resting. Your company only turns a profit when you're behind the wheel. Yeah, that's fine. Because I want to get us to the point where we are at the on the road at the same time as our compadre, who is also on the road. So let's see. Uh, Catherine, Glenn Wood, or Glenn Wood, sorry. Uh, Caleb from Cruising the World Travel. How you all doing? So good to see all of you. I'm glad that you're all here for our chill Thursday night taxi uh, taxi life vibe. Uh, all right, so now we're at 6.09, so I'm going to go for another three hours. And now we should have us and our compadre both on the road somewhere. I'm not sure where they are. Oh, we are now in the hole on money. <laughs> Oops, that's a problem. Uh, I guess we paid them for their first day even though they didn't work that's uh kind of interesting so let's see survive riding in a driverless tesla today during an uber ride oh man you are <laughs> you are definitely bold and daring i will give you that uh let's see late for me 10 p.m almost definitely will be dozing rather than chatting that's perfectly fine i uh, just glad to have you here nonetheless. Stinger Beast, once again, thank you always for all your generosity. I definitely appreciate it. Um, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, let's see what we can do out here. Well, first and foremost, we got to make some money because uh, I am now broke. So <laughs> we should probably get that going. All right, so let's see. Um, we're going to go over here. And we're going to pick up Esther Williams because she will give us some money. And that is important. So can we pick up this one? Uh, this one is, okay, they're about the same. So we'll go there because that's going to give me a little more money. And we will pick this one up. Uh, back out of here. And uh, let's see. Is anyone coming that way? They're not. Okay. Let's get on the road. Oh, I got to turn on the car. Okay. Now let's get on the road. So, yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, there we go, Stinger Beast. There you go. Thank you once again for the $10. Once again, uh, that is very, very kind and very, very generous of you. Once again, I definitely appreciate it. So thank you very much for that. And uh, yeah, well, this is going to uh, gonna hopefully be some, some fun. It'll be definitely a change from what we've normally done in the world of uh, supermarket. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Should be a nice, fun time here. And we'll see what the AI traffic does and how they get about things. Whoa, I need to turn here. Uh, better late than never. <laughs> I just now look down at my uh, at my GPS to see what's going on, but it does look like we have a miniature traffic jam up here. So um, I hope that this won't be too bad. Yeah, I cannot imagine driving around in a car that does not have a driver. I don't. I don't think I could do it. 
I just don't think I could do it. I don't know if I have enough, if I have that much trust to do something like that. But hey, you're here, so it must have gone okay. So that's the important thing. You made it, and <laughs> everything is good. I drive <laughs> drive just like you. Yeah, I, I drive much better than this when I'm actually behind the wheel of a regular car. But in this thing, um, I'm going to attribute it to I'm still getting used to it because this is a brand new car. So that is, uh, I, I'm going to blame it on the car. It's probably not the car, but I'm going to blame it on the car anyway. So, yeah, it's probably me. So, <laughs> ah, yeah. So, like I said, I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thursday, and I'm so glad that you're here on a chill vibe Thursday night. So, uh, yeah, just kind of here. I've not done a whole lot with this, so but I've always enjoyed it. It's always been a lot of fun. So I'm glad that you guys are here to also partake in the festivities on a Thursday evening. So this is not the passenger we're picking up, so we're picking up another one somewhere up the road here. Um, I thought that this was the one we were picking up, but it is not. This is a very quiet car. It's definitely quieter than the last one I had. That's for sure. It'd be funny if we ran into our compatriot on the road, but I doubt it. Um, I would sincerely doubt it. Where do I charge it? I Well, I know that I can charge it at the, um, at the garage, and I think I can also charge it at any gas station. If it is an electric car, I don't know if this one is electric. I guess maybe it is. I didn't actually look at that when I bought it. So it may be electric. It's quiet as if it were electric, so that might have something to do with it. But, yeah, you can basically, uh, any gas station you run into, you can charge it there. And also, if you uh, go to a garage, you can get yourself fully refueled and uh, fully repaired at any garage. Hello. Hello. And how are you? You're actually going to tell me how far you need to go, so that's nice. And we're taking you a kilometer and a half to your destination. I wonder if at some point in time all these areas that are blocked off open up. I assume they do, but I don't know what it takes for that to happen. So uh, I will, I'm guessing that we will eventually find that out. I just don't know for sure. Roundabouts are always dangerous in this game. Um, they're not dangerous in real life. I mean, roundabouts in real life can be very, very easy to get through. But in this game, people just don't seem like they know what to do in them. Um, which is fine, but uh, yeah, you definitely got to watch on the watch out in this game when you're on roundabouts, because traffic will always act a little bit weird when you're in a roundabout. Oh shoot, I need to turn here. I really need to be paying more attention to my GPS because um, I'm not looking, and that's never a good thing, especially when you're driving. Okay. Oh, tomorrow is Friday. That is nice. I am looking forward to Friday. That is for sure. Um, hopefully you guys have some good weekend plans coming up. It's going to be a fun one around here. That's for sure. Yarn Dragon, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Welcome. Thanks for coming by for our chill, our chill vibe Thursday of Taxi Life, a city driving simulator where we're driving around the streets of Barcelona trying to make some money because I am $253 in the hole thanks to hiring another cabbie. And uh, immediately paying them, actually, before they even start their day of work. So I, I have negative money, and that is generally not a good idea. So, and we have this guy who's, like, standing in the crosswalk because the, the pedestrians in Barcelona have zero cares about where they stand. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, they, these guys are kind of funny. I know... That the uh, the developers for this game have uh, they've definitely addressed some things because people have talked about the fact that the game could use more steering wheel support and they they've also talked about uh, trying to make some AI improvements. Um, so there there has been news about that. Aside from that, I don't think that they've had anything else in the way of like a a patch or anything. But they have addressed those issues just because I have to imagine it's kind of difficult with uh, working with the number of different steering wheels that are out there because there are so many different steering wheels that are available. And if you've got, ple if you've got people that are playing like heavy-duty racing games, um, then it can I, – I don't know how they possibly be, possibly be able to support everything that's out there. But they're going to give it a go. 
and hopefully they'll be able to do it. So can I take a loan from the supermarket? Uh, I don't know. Yoda, you know my stance on loans. So <laughs> uh, maybe they'd give me one. I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> And I don't know if you can actually do loans in this game. Uh, maybe you can. But uh, yeah. Oh, shoot. I need to be over lane. Let's sneak over there. There we go. Look at me driving as if I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, because we got a hangar right, right about here. And this guy's just going to stop for no reason. These guys turn so incredibly slowly. And again, we're going in kilometers per hour here. This is not miles per hour. And these guys just go that slowly. <laughs> but it's okay. It's perfectly good. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is nice. I really, really like the graphics in this game. I really do. And at this point, I don't even think I've got it on the uh, on the epic setting. I think I'm still on the on the high setting for the graphics. Julia Sanford, hello. How you doing tonight? I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday night. It's Chill Vibe Thursday here on Taxi Life at Rusty Champagne. So I hope you're having a great night, and I'm so glad that you're here to join us. Um, let's see. Uh, obviously, the big thing that everyone's probably wondering about, when are we going to do another supermarket simulator? And we will be doing another one of those tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. So we will have another supermarket simulator tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Daylight. Um and, uh, yeah, we'll see what kind of hijinks we can get into now that we have the, uh, the stockers. And we have a bunch of money, too. So we're going to have to see what all we can do here. Because we've got all kinds of options now that we've got all that hey, cash. Have a nice day. You have a nice day, too. And uh, now I think we're back to positive money. And we've got David Green, who's right here. So we will take that task. There we go. $325. I'm back in the green. So that's good. And let's see. Uh, what do we got? Kelly Simpson, hello! Hi, hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I love falling asleep to your videos. Your voice is very calming. Thank you so much for that, Kelly Simpson. I, I actually hear that a lot, which is interesting. Uh, <laughs> that That is a very popular comment that I hear. Um, but So yeah, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Where exactly is the su supermarket located on this map? That is an excellent question. Uh, I don't know if they have one. If I look over there on the map, I don't see it unless it's part of the interesting architecture. So possibly that, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know for sure if it's there. Uh, and I don't know if it has the window chicken, because I don't know if they do window chicken in Barcelona. <laughs> we'll have to check that out sometime. Okay, so let's get back out here, and we're going to make a left at some point, so we're going to swing over. I really should look behind me before I do that. But hey, what's the fun in that? <laughs> we could just... Easily swing across a couple lanes of traffic, just like I was in Chicago. And who cares if there's anyone behind me? I don't. So, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we will have a, um, a supermarket simulator tomorrow at uh, 4 p.m. Central Daylight. That will be live. And then the next live stream after that will be uh, Sunday at 12 p.m. Central Daylight time. Uh, probably will also be supermarket at that point in time. So we will probably do both of those as supermarket. Um, next week, we will probably have uh, more streams than normal because there are a couple of new releases coming out next week. So I will confirm it, but I, I think that we will probably have a Tuesday and a Thursday stream as well because I believe that Tuesday next week, Real Estate Simulator comes out, and I know that Thursday next week, uh, Gas Station Simulator Tidal Wave comes out. So if if those are if I've got the date right on Real Estate Simulator, then we'll have a live stream on Tuesday of Real Estate Simulator, and then Thursday, uh, for sure, we'll have a live stream of Gas Station Simulator, and those will probably be 4:15 uh, p.m. Central Daylight Time. So I will keep you posted on that. But I believe that both of those are going to happen. And then we'll probably have the other streams as well. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make sure to let you guys know in terms of what we're going to do other than that. But I definitely want to make sure that we get the, uh, the real estate one and the gas station one when those come out. Because I want to make sure that we have good coverage on those. Hey there. Hey there. How you doing? All right. Uh, you just had an accident right there in front of us. So that's good. Um, and we're going one kilometer up the road. 
Let's there, see. There is something big on the window. Y- use wipers. You said that last time you were in the car. So, all right. So we're going to go here. We're going to turn on the wipers because you don't like what's on the car. So, all right. The wipers are on. And we're going to get going. Let's see. I just finished watching the Wednesday stream earlier, and I had an idea about window chicken. If you move your freezer in front of the window, your chickens will still technically be window chickens. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, it'll be fine. If the only thing I've got to do is uh, fill the window chicken, that'll be okay. And I know that the devs of that game were talking about putting in eventually support for the stockers to take care of things that are on the floor. So that will eventually happen. Um, I don't know when, but it is something that they did address, and they did say that they were thinking about doing. Um, but it'll just be a matter of when. And I'm not too worried about that, because if all I got to do is the window chicken, that's perfectly fine. That won't be an issue. So now let's see. I'm going to see if I can drive right up to this. This guy's going to get mad at me, but I'm going to drive right up to this to collect that. There we go. The fountain of the Catalan genius. And now the guy's going to probably be mad because I drove up onto the sidewalk and he's probably wondering exactly what I'm doing. So we're going to see if I can swing out here and not hit that pole. I can't. Perfect. Um, my passenger's slightly confused and that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I discovered some interesting architecture and that's one of the things I wanted to do today. That's the price he pays for making me turn on my wipers. I think it's only fair. All right, so now I can probably turn off my wipers. So let's go in here and let's turn off our wipers because we shouldn't need them. Oh, let's also turn off our emergency lights. Um, wipers, off. Why are you not going off? Off with you. Um, why are you not going off? Uh, let me just see if I can do this this way. Um, you're not. There we go. Now they're off. Okay. And we're on our way. Occasionally the controls get fussy. <laughs> And that guy decided he wanted to turn right in front of me. Uh, Solo PHL, how you doing? Good to see you tonight. Welcome to our chill Thursday night vibe here of Taxi Life. Um, a city driving simulator here in the streets of Barcelona. Uh, I, I enjoy these Thursday night ones. It's a, it's a nice way to kind of get together, chill out, have a, have a nice Thursday evening. Um, and those are always good. And like I said, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thursday. And I uh, hope you all have some wonderful Friday plans coming up because, again, it's Friday. How can you go wrong with a Friday? Fridays are great. Um, this guy has stopped right in front of me, so I'm going to go right in front of him. And we're going to slide right past him. And uh, now that interesting architecture I could probably find. if I, I may have. Oh, no, I actually did find that one. Okay, we've been here before. Because if we look on the map over there, oh, I can't swing the, I can't swing the mouse over. But on that mini map in the lower left, there is actually a check mark by that piece of interesting architecture that's directly in front of us. So we actually have found that. Um, so there you go. That's one off the list. All right, let's go uh, this way. And then we're going to immediately make a left and go this way. I don't think I missed a stoplight. Um, I don't know what these guys are doing, but I'm going here. So let's see. Almost 2.5K subs. Yeah, I mean, that's that's crazy. We're up to like 2477 or something like that. And again, thank you guys so much for getting us all the way to this. I mean, that's it's it's really been amazing. It has been absolutely amazing. And that is all because of you guys. So so thank you so much for all that you've done to help grow the channel. It has really, really been it's been a thing. Um, absolutely wonderful. So so thank you guys so much. And we're just going to, it's like I said before, we're just going to keep on having fun. We're going to keep on doing all kinds of good, fun stuff. And uh, it's only going to keep getting better and better, that's for sure. But thank you guys so much for uh, for everything that you've done with uh, supporting the channel. I do definitely appreciate it. Now, it's interesting because the minimap says that we need to go left. Um, or our destination is on the left, but we're actually, from what I saw on the mini map, we've only got to make like a couple of right hand turns and we're going to be where we need to be. So every once in a while, this thing does give some like peculiar, um, like, like the, the HUD gives some per- peculiar, uh, points up there. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's okay. All I know is this is a very narrow street. So, uh, it's good that no one is coming this way. All right, let's see. Oh, Stinger, that's so nice, man. 
Uh, so, what would people like to talk about? Because we got we got all kinds of time. So, yeah, throw up a topic. Let's let's have something to talk about here. What would people like to talk about? Ask me anything. Well, almost anything. But <laughs> as we make our way to our destination point with this passenger who seems like they're getting less and less patient with us. And I don't know why, but um, we're, we're doing the best that we can. So, yeah, how far are we? We're like 200 meters still. So we're pretty close to our destination here. And I think after this, I might actually try one of these challenges out because we might as well give one of those a whirl and see what that was all about. How was my panini? My panini was great. Absolutely love the panini maker. It is wonderful. It is a great, great thing. So, yeah. It's, uh, and they're so simple. Absolutely simple to make. Um, so, yeah, we're going to park real See quick. See you. Um, I'm rolling. Oh, shoot. I picked that. Uh, I took that task, I think, or did I? Um, let's see. What's going on here? Uh, let's throw on the handbrake. Did I take that task? I don't know. I No, it's not showing me that I need to go anywhere. But, yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, it was a uh, a really, really nice panini. Um, very simple. Just uh, some nice ciabatta bread, some turkey. Uh, got some uh, uh, sandwich-style pepperoni, some tomatoes. And, yeah, just went to town. It was great. I highly recommend it. Um, Yarn Dragon wants to talk about cute dogs. What in your world would be the quintessential cute dog. So let's hear about what would make the, what what is the best cute dog that there is? So let's see. Um, I, I, I would love to know about the, the best kind of cute dog as we make our way to uh, this challenge over here to see what this is all about. And for other people in the chat, what would be your ideal cute dog? So, inquiring minds would like to know, uh, spicy mayo. Um, oh, no, I'm not a fan of mayonnaise. Um, spicy stuff is good, but I'm just not a fan of mayonnaise. So, I've had it and just not, doesn't do anything for me. So, yeah, that's not a thing. Uh, yeah, not on my panini. A pug. Pugs are kind of cool. Um, I, I don't own a dog. I did at one point own a dog when I was a kid. We had a family dog. It was a German Shepherd. He was an awesome dog. Um, and, uh, yeah, lived a good long life. He was a really, really loyal dog. His name was Bo. He was great. That was the only dog I ever had. Um, my brother has three dogs. He's always had three dogs because he, he has no kids. So he has dogs. Um, and he's always had three dogs since he started having dogs. He started with one, and then one became two, and two became three, and he has always stayed with three since then. But I myself do not have any dogs. Uh, let's see. I had a black Pomeranian, super cute. Um, a Pomchi. I don't know. I don't know if I know that one. Uh, partial to my black and white pity mix. Yeah, yeah. Pitbulls. I mean, pitbulls can be really, really nice dogs. I know that pitbulls get a really, really bad rap, and that's and that's not fair to them. Because, I mean, there are a lot of pit bulls that are really, really nice. My friend at work has, like, a pit bull Rottweiler mix, and it's a really, really nice dog. Um, so, yeah, there's, you, you, there, is such a, there is such a thing as a really nice pit bull. That's for sure. Um, yeah, and German Shepherds are great. I mean, really, I love German Shepherds. They are really, really good dogs. I love Huskies, too. Absolutely love Huskies. I just love the look of them. I mean, they're, they're big dogs. They are absolutely really big dogs. I needed to turn there, didn't I? I did. Um, so we're going to turn here. I hope no one saw that. Um, but, yeah, I absolutely love uh, absolutely love Huskies. Don't think I could own one, but I absolutely love them. Uh, MXJ Barlow 20 thank you for the follow on Twitch. Welcome to Rusty Champagne. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. Tip when you get to our destination quickly. Just don't kill us. Okay, so I won't kill us. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the rules. Don't slow down before below 40 miles an hour, and don't crash the car. So this is like speed. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if we can do this. I'm not even going to bother with, uh, with um, oh, boy, don't crash the car. So I'm not even going to bother with my turn signals. We're just going to go crazy with this. All right, I'm going to break that rule. 
That's fine. So we're going to just drive like mad. Whoa! Um, oh, man. <laughs> Guys, I think I killed somebody. Um, don't, don't tell anyone. Let, let's just keep that between us, okay? Um, oh, all right. Is that a deal? Okay. Thank you. Um, oh, we could still go. Okay. Perfect. Or is that, no, that's the end of the, oh, that's the end of the challenge. Oh, well, that stinks. Okay. Let's try that again. Um, my current dog is two rabbits. <laughs> um, and uh a chihuahua i like i like chihuahuas too um okay so while we screwed that up let's try that again uh one more time this time with feeling and this time we're going to try to not run over a passenger in the crosswalk because that was a real bad failure this first time so let's try this again uh take two on the challenge and we'll see how we do and again, I should have been paying more attention to that pedestrian, and I did not. So that is completely on me. And I think I dinged up the car a little bit, but that's okay. It'll it'll buff out. It'll be fine. Okay. So now I think I can cut across here. Because I don't know why it wants me to go all the way up there and just come all the way back down. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Oh, it's just because these are one-way streets. I see. All these one-way streets. You know what? I don't believe in one-way streets, so I'm going to go this way. Ha, ha, ha. You can't make me. So <laughs> we're just going to do that, and then we're going to hop out here because I'm playing the bad cabbie today. And then we're going to swing around here and uh, go and pick up this passenger again and try this challenge once more. So, yeah, don't tell anyone that I ran over a pedestrian. And don't tell anybody that I made an illegal right turn. And we'll be fine. Um, let's see. Tis but a scratch. It's absolutely but a scratch. So I've, I found it funny that the AI cars can, like, mow a pedestrian down and nothing happens. But I hit one and it's like, okay, I get a $100 fine for it. That doesn't seem right. Okay, here we go. We're going to try this one more time. Um, and we're going to see if we can do this and not cause any damage to anybody. So here we go. I'm in a hurry. You've yes. Got a big tip when you get to our All right, take two. Just don't kill us. Don't kill us. I will not kill us, and I will even not kill any pedestrians this time. So we're going to try and do this once more and not kill anyone in the process. So we're going to try and hit these corners pretty well, and we're going to make this happen. Uh, sir, you are in my way, and I cannot have that. Um, I got to get this guy to his destination, and I got to do it in a hurry. Um, okay, you are, okay, you're causing fits. All right, we got to get past you. Oh, um, here we go. Let's take it nice and easy. Oh, at least he's going pretty close to us here. So we're going to, can I make a right turn here? Yeah, I'm going to make a right turn. Oh, boy, uh, we're going to go the wrong way. That's fine. I got no problem with this. I'm going to break a fracture an occasional law, but it's going to get him there right on time. Look at that. There we go. Boom. Just like that. Was he happy? I guess so. We didn't get a whole lot for it. Oh, we got a huge tip. Wow, look at that tip. $316 tip on a $166 fare. That was kind of like, that was pretty good. I don't believe in one-way streets. No, I don't believe in one-way streets. <laughs> I believe in them when they're needed. I just didn't think they were needed there. That's all. So, I mean, that's, that's not wrong, is it? Uh, let's see. So I'm going to actually close that out. So that was kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to throw on the handbrake. Let's see what else we have on the map here. So what other things do we have on the map? Let's see what this thing is here, this interesting piece of street art. Let's go find that and see what that's all about. So let's go straight there. Because I haven't really done anything with this street art, and I want to see what it's all about. So... Let's see. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just like me in real life. <laughs> I I wouldn't normally drive like that in real life. At least not that you know of. So, no, I'm, I'm generally a very, very cautious driver. But, hey, it's Barcelona, and I'm just a visitor here. And I'm a cabbie. So I think that that makes all the difference. Or at least that's what I'm going to tell myself. So, 
That's that's all I need to know. So, yeah, we're going to see what it's going to be to get this street art. Because I've never actually discovered any of this. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I know that everything with the architecture can be kind of hit or miss. But hopefully this is going to work out okay. And it will actually discover without us having to do anything crazy with the car. Because as far as I know, you can't actually get out of the car. I think that we're like permanently in the car. So uh, we discovered the parish of St. Joseph and St. Monica. And I didn't even do anything to do it. So that's weird. Uh, Chris McMillan, how you doing? Oh, and Sass Bay, I don't know if I said hi to you yet. So hello, how you doing? And, uh, and oh, shoot. Uh, uh, Grozna, you got to tell me exactly how you pronounce your name because I feel like I always get it wrong. Is it Grozna or is it, is it, a, is it a different pronunciation? Because, I, like I said, I feel like I get it wrong, and I want to get it right. I really want to try. Um, so, yeah, if you can let me know exactly if I'm butchering your name, and if I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and please let me know what it would do, be to make it right. Uh, where is that street art? And how do we get to it? I mean, it should be right here, but I can't pull in there. Can I? Can I pull in here? Or, or was I able to see it if I looked that way? I feel like it, there was a, like one brief moment there where I actually saw it, but I don't know. Uh, is there anyone behind me? There's still no one behind me. Oh, graffiti number four. Oh, okay. So I just had to have the camera pointed the exact right direction. Okay, there we go. That's what it was. This name is three syllables, but I don't mind two. Is it, um, uh, is it Grazina? Is uh, or is it? Um, I again, I feel like I'm butchering it. So <laughs> I'm I'm assuming the second syllable is E. Um, I could be wrong. So yeah, uh, I I will definitely try to get it right because, like I said, I I want to make sure that I get people's names right as much as I can. I think I'm still rolling backwards. I should probably stop rolling backwards. Okay, um, my driving style increased my XP level. Cool. Uh, Insidia, hi, I turned 21 yesterday and I didn't get any gifts from my parents. That, oh, sorry, Insidia. But happy birthday to you. And I'm glad you're here. This game is pretty cool. It's a, it's a chill vibe. It's a, it's a different style of game, that's for sure. So it's, it's not, like the, not like the other games we've played. It's uh, definitely a more, a more laid-back kind, of, uh, kind of vibe. So I, I kind of like it. It's nice if you're looking to do something a little bit more calm, cool, and collected. So yeah, and it's a Thursday night. And we're just kind of chilling. We're having a nice night here. It's a it's a cozy group. It's like being at a jazz club. So there we go. That's it, more or less. Okay, thank you. I'm I'm glad that I'm not tearing your name to pieces. So thank thank you very much for that. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna treat, see if we can find this other interesting piece of street art, and kind of keep going from there. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to next week because, I, like I said, I, there's, a, there's a, couple of, a couple of big new releases coming out next week, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what those are about because, um, yeah, the, the gas station game, uh, the gas station simulator DLC, that one I think is going to be really, really good. Um, uh, you just kind of come right across the street. That's fine. Um, and with that being a game that had been really popular when it came out at, at the outset, um, I'm really looking forward to that one. So I, because I think that one can has the potential to really, really be good. And the real estate simulator game, I've seen some, uh, I've seen some other streamers doing stuff with that. The streamers that were lucky enough to get uh, an early access copy, I am not on that list of people that have been early, lucky enough to get an early access copy. Uh, maybe when I grow up and become an even more real boy, I might be able to do that. But at this point in time, uh, I have not been able to get my hands on one. So, but yeah, from what I've seen, it, it looks pretty interesting. So I am looking forward to being able to bring it to our channel as well um, to, uh, to show off here. So yeah, that should be pretty fun. So yeah, the games that are coming out next week, uh, one of them is Real Estate Simulator. And the other one is a uh, gas station simulator tidal wave. So let's see if I look over that way and do I see the art? Cause I think I just got to move the camera around. So let's move up a little bit further and let's see if I can find the interesting street art there. Cause it should be, 
is it behind me? Am I too far away from it? Let's see. I'm just going to kind of keep slowly moving. We're going to see if we can find it. Because um, I don't know where it is. It should be right about here. So let's see. Can I get even closer? Do I need to get on the sidewalk? Uh, I don't recommend this, folks. I really do not recommend this, but I do not have anybody in the car. So we're just going to kind of keep going here and see if we can find this. Because it should be right about here. Um, where are you, interesting street art? Are you... We're like right on top of it. Oh, there it is. That's probably it. It has to be it. This uh, Tremo? Is this it? Is it to my left? Oh, there you are. Graffiti number two. There we go. I knew we'd eventually find it. <laughs> it took us a bit, but we found it. Um... A real estate sim, will it be on console? I don't think so. I think that it's only on PC right now. Maybe at some point down the road, but uh, I don't know. Andrea, how you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, Caitlin, hello. How you doing? Nice to see you as well. Um, good day, guy. Have you guys here? GTA Rusty. Yeah, that's me. GTA Champ Taxi. That's what we're all about. Okay. I guess... We should probably actually pick up a passenger or two while we're at it. Um, that would probably be a good idea to pick up one or two passengers. So let's go up here and let's, uh, what's going to be the easier passenger to get? I guess we can just pick you up and do a whole series of right turns. So we'll, we'll go pick you up and take you wherever you are headed. So, all right. And it wants us to turn around. We are not going to do that. I think I'm going the wrong way is what it is. So I probably need to turn around because I'm once again going the wrong way on a one-way street. Again, don't tell anybody. I'm still going the wrong way on a one-way street. Again, don't tell anybody. Um, the, the poor GPS is like, where are you going, sir? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so now I think we got it. Now we're good. Turn signals are optional today. Um, I, that is my declaration. Turn signals are only necessary when we actually have somebody in the car. When it's just us, yeah, we can do what we want. So, like, I'll, I'll even use one here just for the fun of it. Just that way it doesn't feel neglected. There we go. Uh, let's see. Pick up passengers in a taxi game. Yeah, I know. That is a crazy thought, isn't it? You ran a red light, sir. I saw that. I absolutely saw you run a red light, and you're going to wait for the passenger, <laughs> even though you ran a red light. That's an interesting combination of things. Run the light and then wait for the passenger that's crossing when they have the light. So, and the pedestrians here, they'll, they'll just, they'll, they'll cross the street even if they don't have the light. They do not care. They absolutely do not care what color the light is. Huh. Oh, that was a gas station. I, I saw, I saw like a, a blue orb or a blue aura over there. And I'm like, what is that? But it's a gas station. That, or maybe that's a charging station. Or is that a car wash? I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, my light screen. I should probably get going. This guy behind me is probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. Can I turn right here? I think I can. I'm going to. Nope. Oh, no, I cannot. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Let's look behind me. There's no one coming behind me. And that's why the GPS told me to go this way. I should occasionally listen to my GPS. It occasionally knows what it's talking about. Um, I was just not convinced that it did. So, all right, so we're going to turn right here. And I think I've got it. Yeah, I think I got the light. So here we go. I do like this car. It's a very quiet car. That's for sure. Um, but it is a nice one. Drives pretty well. Um, it's got a comfy feel to it. I'm actually going to stop here in the garage real quick first because I think I can level up. Because um, I think we went up a level. So can we pull in here? Am I in the spot? I'm not yet in the spot. Finish the task to enter the garage. What if I want to enter the garage now? I'm um, sorry, sir. Yeah, I know. I should have looked behind me. All right. All you guys go. Um, all of you, please. Are you guys stopped there? I think you're stopped there. Okay. So we're going to try this again. Going to hop out here one more time. There we go. So the game's going to be picky, and it's going to tell me that I need to finish my task before I can go in the garage. So, all right, so I guess we, we'd actually have to go and pick up this passenger that's waiting for us. Um, I, again, these passengers are so demanding, making us actually pick them up when we said that we would pick them up. Uh, 
I don't know. Again, it's like it's a taxi game or something. <laughs> okay. So our passenger is just up there. Um, you think this uh, car is based off of a Kia Soul? That may be it. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen as easily, if that's the case. Because, um, yeah, Kias, they've, they've had their things with uh, being stolen. So hopefully no one will pilfer this one and take it on a joyride. All right. Here we go. Are you here? There you are. And you have nothing to say to me. Okay, that's fine. I can go that way. Uh, now here, for, for this passenger, oh, it does show. We're, we're like a, a kilometer away. I wanted to see that. Um, so it does show on the map that we'd have to go about a kilometer. Okay. So since I have a passenger in here, I will, I will endeavor to actually use my turn signal and make him feel better about his driver. And hopefully that'll be fine. So, all right. We're going to go this way, and I feel like we've been here before. This all looks very, very familiar. All right, and I know that in Barcelona, you can't turn right on a red light, so I actually do have to wait. Um, whoa, those guys are aggressive. Oh, my. I am not paying attention. That's going to be a bad repair bill. Um, I'm not looking at the road, uh, and that's not a good thing. So <laughs> I just wanted to see what the front end was like on this thing, and now I know. So, all right. Get everything stopped. Uh, let's see. Are you always recording when I play, or do I play? I've uh, This one I just I have always uh, played and recorded at the same time. I've not played this one solo yet. Um, I probably but could. Do you know what uh, we're seeing in Barcelona? Uh, I don't, but I can reply. Let's see. Um, the architecture. The architecture is great. There we go. Can you tell me something more? Um, let's see. Uh, street art. There are a lot of amazing murals. You seem to be very into it. Uh, um, yes. Yes, uh, I love art. It really makes you contemplate and, and appreciate life. H how do I find them? Okay, this guy's a lot more deeper than Just I am. Just go for a walk and, and carefully look around to spot one. Hmm, yeah. I'll be more aware of it on my next sightseeing tour. Okay, that was an interesting conversation. That's good. Now there's a, oh, there we go, the uh, Polyorama Theater right here. Perfect. Look at me discovering all the interesting architecture. I am so proud of me. Um, <laughs> and this guy that's driving the cab is definitely a lot more cultured than I am. <laughs> I, I will give him that. That's for sure. Uh, I don't have nearly that much culture, but, oh, I just ran a red light. Don't tell anybody. I'm going to see if I can, uh, can I find this p interesting piece of architecture? It should be right here. Uh, there we go. The Church of Our Lady of Bethlehem. Look at that. We are getting all the architecture points. Um, and apparently all you have to do is look at it with the camera. So whoever said that before, you were absolutely correct. And I did not know what I was doing the last time that I tried that. So, yeah. If you're ever wondering what you have to do, just look at the architecture and you're all set. So I'm going to actually stop here. And we're going to see, can we see that one? Do I have to pull up a little bit further? Maybe we do. And we're going to stop there. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I know I got my handbrake on. Um, nope, I don't know. We'll come back for that one. Because this guy's probably wondering exactly why it is that we're not going. And why we're stopping and looking at architecture. So we will make our way to our destination with this very patient person. And then, oh, it's just right up here on the right. That's good. So right turn. Here we go. And in we go. Oh, and there's some interesting architecture right here where he is. How about that? A double play. So let's stop here and get you it's into your space. Were there two people in the car? Uh, I think there were. Oh, did she hop in the car right away? Uh, that may have been the case. Let's see. Um, there's a game called Streamer Life Simulator. I think I've seen someone play that, and I just, I wasn't into it. Um, I, I just, it, it, it didn't, it didn't really grab me. Believe it or not, I think the person I saw playing that was Markiplier. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's where I saw it before. And I just, I, I could not get into that game at all. 
there was just something about it that I just looked at and I'm like, eh, I just, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it just, I, yeah, I, I don't even know what it was about it. I, it just, I, it, it gave me a, it gave me a bad vibe. So, but thank you for asking. I do appreciate it. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, what do we get? A uh, small traveler cover 50 kilometers in a single career. Hey, look at that. We've gone 50 kilometers in our career. How about that? Um, I only play Sims based on real jobs. Uh, house flipper. I did actually look at house flipper. Um, and I, I'm thinking about actually picking that one up because I think it's also on a deal on Steam. House Flipper 2, I'm assuming you're meaning. Um, I may actually pick that one up because I, I think that they just had some spring content that came out for that one. Um, and it looked pretty interesting. So, yeah, I, I do have that one on my hit list. So uh, that one, I may do that one later in the month. We'll, we'll see how it goes because, like I said, I do have the, the ones coming up with real estate and gas station. But, yeah, I may also, just while it's on the deal, I may get a copy of House Flipper and see what we can do to also get that one out here. Um, should we do another challenge? I think I'm feeling another challenge. Let's try this one out for Ignacio. And let's see if we can do this and not run anybody over. So, okay. Let's give this one a whirl. All right. So we're going to hop in here, pick up the uh, pick up the clients, and not use my turn signal because it's optional today because it's optional turn signal Thursday. That is my decree and my decree only. So we will... Um, oh, yeah. So he's right up here. That's perfect. Very close to where we are. And then... We will get another challenge under our belt and make a lot more money. I think we need like $5,000 in order to be able to buy another car. So, yeah, theoretically, if I was able to get up to $5,000, I could get another car and we could get another cabbie. We could really start growing our fleet. That would be kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're a long ways away from that right now. We've only got 1000 so we'll see what we can do. Uh, how are you doing, sir? Is that you in the white blazer? It is you. I'm in a hurry. You'll get a big tip when we get to our destination quickly. Just don't kill us. Okay, I won't kill us. Uh, I will try to not also kill pedestrians. Um, I'm going to go this way uh, because that guy is not stopping. So we're going to make this nice and easy. This is a little bit more difficult because these controls on this thing are a little bit dicey. I'm going to hop over the curb, zip past you. Uh, these things don't drive very well. I'm going to go over here. Ha, ha, ha. And we're going to just keep rolling, and we're going to get past all this. This is like when I'm watching a police chase on YouTube. So, <laughs> oh boy, uh, we got to turn here. There we go. And, wow, look at us. I only broke every street law there is, and I smashed the car up a little bit. That's all. Um, I'm definitely going to need to go to the garage now um, because this thing does not handle the best. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, there we go. Um, you're not in the parking space. Now let's get you in the parking space. Okay. Um, okay, we did get something. Uh, we got a big tip there. Oh, yeah. So we made eighty six for the task and three hundred eight for the tip. How about that? So yeah, all kinds of money there. All right, now we got to make it to a garage because I've. Oh no, we only need another what one hundred and twenty more points, and then we'll have another level. Okay, let's get one more level, and then we can go back to the garage. So let's see. Uh, so if we find one of these pieces of street art, that will do it. So let's go here. And that should give us enough experience to then get a level and go up to the garage. Because that should give us a couple of perk points, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because when we started, we were level 4. And now we're going to be level 6. So let's give this a whirl. And we're going to hop right out here. And the street art should be right up here on the right. So we're going to kind of just mosey over here. Very, very slowly. And we're going to see if we can find this. So where is the street arts? It's got to be up ahead a little bit there. So let's kind of slowly move over here just a bit. So it should be right here. Um, where are you? Uh, where would the street art be? It feels like it should be right there. But I'm not seeing any. Am I going to have to drive up on the sidewalk again? I got a feeling I'm going to have to drive up on the sidewalk again. And I'm really trying to avoid doing that because um, I'm not seeing any street art. Huh. It should be right there. 
Okay. Is there? Oh, there are people coming behind me. Okay. Uh, let's turn around here and hop on the sidewalk and drive on the sidewalk just a smidge and see, or is it even further in? It's weird because this thing kind of moves every once in a while. So it might be over here. Uh, let's see. Is it over here? All right. So let's just stop right here. And are you here? Oh, there you are. Oh, there it is. Way up there. Okay. Uh, that should be <laughs> easier to find than it is. Let's see. Uh, Stance Man. Hello. How you doing? Um, good to see you. New watcher. Uh, got second this game. Already done two episodes. I sound dreadful when he recorded. Has anyone done it? Um, I don't know. I've been having a fun time with it. So uh, it's, like I said, it's more of a chill game. So, I mean, I, I like the chill vibe of it. So, yeah, I'm sorry that you had a bad experience with it. So, uh, I mean, hopefully it'll it'll go better for you in the future. But, yeah, I've, I've kind of enjoyed this one because it's, it's, it's definitely a change of pace. It's definitely a change of pace from the, the supermarket simulator. And I love myself some supermarket simulator. But it's, uh, this is definitely, it's definitely a different style, no doubt about it. Okay. Let us hop to the garage because I have messed up my car. <laughs> Something fierce with all this bad driving. So let's go back there. And we're also level six. So that's also going to give us some additional bonuses. So let's get off the sidewalk and spin back around. Yeah, I've, I've made some nasty things out of my car here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what other perks we can get. And we, and we can also see how much it would be for another car. Because, like I said, I think it's only 5000 for another car, but I don't remember for sure. So we can give that a look and, uh, and see what we find when we do that. So we're going to make a right turn here. Optional turn signal Thursday is in effect. And we're going to head. I wish I knew how far it was to the garage because it doesn't really put that on the HUD. I'm not going to run over these passengers like I did when we did the challenge. And I lost $100. $100. Are you guys going to come back across the road again? Apparently, you really wanted to be on this side of the street, so uh, that's good. But you had to cross the road in order to figure that out. This is the true joke of why did the pedestrian cross the road? And that was to get to the other side. Um, and uh, all right, so I guess it's still straight ahead here. Yes, it is. Right, oh, there it is. Right up there. Perfect. So here we go. Going to pop right into the garage. Right about here. Ugh cut this turn and there we go are we in yes perfect so also give me a chance to take a little bit of water here as well so let's go ah there we are all right yeah i've kind of wrecked the car a little bit 75 percent uh is that a problem i think it is so let's refuel the car um let's uh repair the car so full repair there we go um that cost us a bit of money uh let's clean the car uh let's give it a full wash there we go and uh all is well so let's see if we wanted a new car a new car oh we got more cars available how about that so this car is assigned so that's our old car um, these are 9,000. Ooh, that's 16,000. Wow. 6,500 and 5,000. So the Sedna would cost us 5,000 to get. Um, and we have 1270. So we don't have nearly enough in order to make that happen. All right. We've got two skill points. So with our skill points, one of the skill points we can get, um, Let's see. The skill points. Uh, complete Completing jobs gives more experience. I love progressing faster. So if they're going to let me con constantly progress faster, I will do it. Um, and then let's see. Takes less time or costs uh, less money. I will go with less money. Uh, Phil Rush Pro. Welcome to Rusty Champagne. Thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you are having a wonderful Thursday night. Do what? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Glad to hear you here on a Thursday night. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I, a lot of people have talked about the AI. I, I totally get it. 
I absolutely totally get it. For me, I guess I don't I don't look at it as as being that big of a thing because I'm from Chicago, so I'm I'm used to the drivers being that bad. Um, so yeah, for me, it's 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 not really that big of a thing. But yeah, I totally get it. I mean, it's it's definitely something that people look at it and they want it to be a lot better. And I I can I can see it. I can definitely see it. And I know that they're going to try and do what they can to make it better than what it is. So, yeah, that's, uh, that, that is a perfectly fair criticism because uh, some of the guys in this game do act a little bit squirrely when they're on the road. So it's, um, I've, I've just, it's not, it, it, for me, it has not been a, great, a uh, game-breaking bug. So I, I've looked at it. It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it'd be nice if it was better, but I can still play the game and still have a lot of fun with it. So, and it gives me something else to look at on the road because I know that these guys are going to act pretty strangely. So I, I've got that going for me. So, okay, let's uh, pick up some more passengers, shall we? I wonder, so is this, I, I should probably go to some other places on the map. Let's, uh, can I... Is there a way to zoom the map? Oh, is this just like a really, really slow zoom? How about if I do this? Everything about this is... I'm going to... Let's let's go all the way to the opposite side of town. Let's let's see what's going on up here on this side of town. Um, just for the fun of it. Uh, actually, let's kind of go here because there's all this architecture right here. So let's kind of go here. So we're going to do this. We're going to cancel all the waypoints and we're going to go all the way up here. And let's see what we got all the way up here. So let's do that. Um, we got to cancel all the waypoints. Um, all the waypoints get canceled. And we're going to go all the way up here to this interesting piece of architecture and see what we got up here. The front of this car is a mix between Land Rover and Kia Soul. <laughs> That'd be an interesting mix of a car. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it's a nice looking car. That's for sure. Um, I could go for having the Land Rover. That'd be nice. But uh, no, I can't complain. I love my car. I've got a Subaru Crosstrek, and I absolutely love it. Probably the nicest car I've ever owned. So yeah. But this one does look good. That's for sure. Okay, so we're going to make our way all the way up to the other side of town. We're going to see if we can find some interesting architecture. Um, oh, I almost ran over that passenger or that pedestrian. Was not paying enough attention, but she got out of the way just in time. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, there's a bunch of architecture up there. So let's see what of it we can find and uh, how much we can get. Yeah, these guys in their fancy track suits are going to cross the road again <laughs> because they forgot where they're going. Um, and I forgot where I'm going because I made a turn the wrong direction. But uh, that's okay. Lots of people in this town wear that yellow and, and black track suit. That is apparently a very popular track suit here. Because I see it feels like one-fourth of the people in town are wearing that tracksuit. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a, a good color palette. I don't know. It's a good color scheme. Um, we're going to watch out for her. Let's see. And, uh, yeah, just make our way all the way up to the other side of town. I wonder if that's like the airport up there. It was hard to tell. It looked like it was an airport-ish kind of thing. Maybe kind of, sort of-ish. Um, I'm going to get past you because I saw you coming in the crosswalk and I didn't want to stop. So, But I will stop for you guys because I don't want to run you over. And you're going to come through as well. So there we go. And now we will continue on. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what all the architecture is up there because that's just like mega points for the taking up in that part of town. We still haven't run into our doppelganger in the blue car. So he's he's out here on the street somewhere. I just don't know where. Um and with Barcelona being a big city, it would be, be very unlikely that I would find him. But <laughs> it would be nice. And his shift goes until 5 o'clock. So, yeah, he's got another two more hours on the road. So it'll be interesting to see just what kind of money he made for us. Hopefully he made some money for us uh, because I would be very sad if he did not. And I wonder if we find that out at the end of his shift as to how much money he made for us. Because, yeah, it's like another two hours because he's on a 9 to 5 shift. So we should see that pretty, pretty soon in terms of what we're going to get from his escapades on the day. So we shall find that out. Let's see. Um, I don't know why this person stopped. They, I'm sure they had a perfectly good reason. I just don't know what it is. Are there, are there bikes ever in the bike lanes? I don't know. I have not seen one. Oh, how are you doing, KD Lopa? 
I uh, I think this is the first time I've seen you in here. Hello. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday evening. I have not seen a bike in the bike lane. So there might be, but I've not seen. Oh, I'm running that light. Ha ha. Um, so, yeah, potentially. But I, I have not seen one. So, uh, yeah. They, maybe the bike lane is just for show. <laughs> the, there is the possibility of that. I still wonder what those camera icons are for. I do not know. Is it for just like good picture spots or something? I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know. Because I, I myself do not know. All right. So we are on our way to the other side of town. This is a nice road. Nice and easy. Um, thank you, sir, for moving over. We appreciate that. Um, there, oh, there was an interesting piece of architecture over there, and I missed it. No big deal. And there's another one over there. Or is that What is that one? Um, oh, I can't stop here. That would be bad. So we'll just keep going. I know I've been to this section of town before. Um, I've, yeah, I feel like I've been through here once before. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure, because I've that piece of architecture up ahead I've discovered. So, yes, whoa, um, that guy definitely cut me off. Um, that was not nice. That was almost an incident. And we got some construction here. That's kind of cool. That's the first I've ever seen construction. Oh, wow. That was not construction. That was a true rollover accident. Okay. So someone was not paying attention to what they were doing. Um, I'm assuming we're getting close now. It feels like we've been going a ways here. All right. So left turn here. Going to try to not take this one on two wheels. And okay. So yeah, still going. Okay, yeah, I think this is like one of the interesting pieces of architecture that I was trying to find. So I'm going to stop here, right here, throw on the handbrake, and look this direction. There we go. So, yeah, I just got to look at it. Perfect. The umbrical. I think I said that right. Those are speed cameras. Okay. I figured they were speed cameras. I guess I've just never been speeding for it to be an interesting thing. That was deconstruction. Ain't that right, Jag 236? <laughs> Absolute, utter deconstruction. Um, keep it going. My driving style increased my level. So awesome. I will keep driving the way I'm driving. All right. We're going to stop here. Um, the museum. There we go. Museum of geology. Very fancy. Okay. So now we, oh yeah, that was on me. I was stopped in the road. I had that coming to me. So I cannot blame my, I cannot blame anyone but myself for that because I stopped directly in the road. And it wasn't even at a red light. So I, I own that one um, for getting hit because I was stopped in the middle of nowhere. I totally had that one coming. Okay, so let's see. Uh, all right, so we'll... Um, the, now, oh, it does show you the ones that you have collected and the ones you have not. So, okay. So let's go... Uh, let's not do that because that's going to involve too many turnarounds. Let's actually pick up another passenger. It's been a while since we picked up a passenger. And again, we are a taxi service. So, and ouch. Um, that hurts. <laughs> That's two in a day. It's been a long time since I've been hit. And I've been hit twice in a day. So, uh, all right. So, we're going to have a little bit of rear end damage to take care of. That's no big deal. Um, it's fine. It's just a flesh wound. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll make do. And uh, it's funny. Because I've been playing this game for a while now, and I've not been hit at all. And then now I get rear-ended twice in, in a matter of two minutes. So maybe it's the law of averages finally catching up to me. I don't know. I'm actually going to turn right at this red light. Don't tell anybody. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. That is kind of hilarious that I spend all this time and I don't get hit. And then now I, it happens to me that quickly and in that rapid succession. So it's all fine. It's okay. Yeah, this car is going to take a little bit of, <laughs> it takes a little bit of a beating. But believe it or not, the back end doesn't look that bad for having been hit twice. And the, the hits apparently weren't that bad because if I look at the damage meter over on the right side of the screen, those three bars on the right side of the screen, it doesn't even look like I get hit that hard. So, so even though it looks like I got slammed into it full force, um, the, the back end of this car must be made out of, like, titanium. Because I, it's like I haven't even been scratched. So I don't know. Um, it, it's perfectly fine. So, yeah. 
I wonder if my air. It seems like my airbags didn't even go off. So <laughs> I've got that going for me. Okay, so we're gonna go. All right, so now I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna actually try backing into this spot. So we're gonna back into this spot because everyone does this. So we're gonna pull. Oh no, I am not in. I did not pull up far enough in order to do this. So we're gonna back up into the spot. There we go, just like that. Nice and easy. Look at us as if we were professionals. There we go. Watching the chat equals texting and driving. I know. Isn't that the case? J-Dub, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Happy Thursday to you. I hope you're having a wonderful night. There's, there, there is something big on the window. Use wipers. This guy always has issues with something big being on the window. I don't know what it is with this guy, but it's always this guy. Always has issue with something being on the window. I, and I don't know what it is. I, I mean, is it like a giant bug or what? I don't know. Thunder God 501, how you doing, man? Welcome from the Twitch side. Nice to see you. Hope you're having a nice night. Happy Thursday to you. Um, there's too many things we shouldn't tell anybody. I don't know if this video can get uploaded on YouTube. Um, the real question is, do you use your mirrors as a backup camera when we're backing up? Now that I have a backup camera, I totally use my backup camera. I totally use it. Um but again, this is like the first time in my life that I've had a backup camera to use. So now that I have it, I totally use my backup camera um, just because I love it. But I will still double check with the mirrors if I need to. But yeah, I've not until my most recent car have I ever had a car with a backup camera. And I absolutely love my backup camera. So yes. Um, but yeah, I, I've driven for many, many years, um, looking behind me, um, like, uh, look, just turning my head completely back and looking behind me to see what was going on back there. Um, but now that I have the backup camera, uh, we've got a parade going across the street. So yeah, now that I have the backup camera, I totally use it. Um, if I did not have one, then yeah, it would obviously be a different story. But it feels like at this point in time, I feel like all cars at this point in time have backup cameras now. It almost feels like it's a standard feature in just about every car other than like a completely stripped down model of a car. It feels like all the other ones do have backup cameras now, at least here. I mean, I don't know if that's the way it is in other places, but it feels like at least here they always have backup cameras. So it's, uh, I, it just seems like it's the, the age that we live in now that they have them. Uh, some King Pops, how you doing tonight? Happy Thursday to you. Welcome to our Chill Vibe Thursday of Taxi Life, a driving simulator, a sitting driving simulator. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful night. Let's see. Did you know that the U.K. has 60 million cameras, but population is 78 million? Wow. Are there really that many cameras over there? If so, that's kind of nuts. Can you turn on the AC? Oh, sure, fine. I'll turn on the AC. Uh, let's see. Uh, where's the AC? Where is the AC? AC on. Thanks. There we go. Uh, you're welcome. Anything for you, sir. I still got my wipers on for you, I hope you know, because you're afraid of the giant bug that's on the window or something. So we're going to, now that we're here, we're going to turn off our wipers. Um, not like that, we're not. We're going to go here, and we're going to turn off our wipers. So, wipers off. Uh, again, why are the wipers not going off? Why do you not go off when I do that? Uh, there, there we go. Now they went off. They're so Those are so finicky. I do not understand that. Um, that is kind of crazy. I have that camera on my car. It's an absolute game changer. Is that a, a backup camera, you mean? Um, if so, yeah. Backup cameras, they, they completely make driving different the only bad thing now is that with all of the things that are in cars like my car like i said i've got a 2020 subaru crosstrek absolutely love the car absolutely love the thing to death it is the best car i've ever had one of the things i love most about that car is that it has adaptive cruise control which for those of you who may not know what adaptive cruise control is, adaptive cruise control basically means that you can be going a certain speed in your car. So you can set your car to go a certain speed. We'll call it 70 miles an hour. We'll call it 75 miles an hour because the highways around here, the speed limit around here on the, on the highways is 70 miles an hour. 
So you can set your cruise control for 75 miles an hour. And if someone comes, if you approach somebody who's going slower than you, so let's say they're going 70 miles an hour and you're going 75, as you approach that car, your car will automatically slow down to match their speed. And you will just start following them at 70 miles an hour. And then if they get out of your way, then they will, oh, there was an accident right there. How about that? Um, and then if they get out of your way, then your car will go back up to 75 miles an hour because that's how fast you told your car to go. And it does all that with these fancy cameras that are pointing out of the front window. And you can tell it how far ahead you want the car to look. Like, do you want it to look a little bit ahead? Do you want it to look a lot ahead? Um, so you can have it look like a couple car lengths in front of you or many car lengths in front of you. And it will keep up with however far in front of you you tell the car to look. So I love that feature. It's an absolutely wonderful feature. The only thing about it is that with a feature like that, if you ever have to replace your windshield, it is an absolute thing now if you have to replace your windshield because there's so much stuff that's involved with getting your windshield replaced now because it's not just they've got to pull the windshield out and put a new windshield in. They've got to, like, realign the cameras. They've, they've got to do all kinds of additional testing, all kinds of stuff. And the, the car I had before this, I had an old 2009 Toyota Camry, and uh, I had had to have a couple of windshields replaced in it just because of, like, rocks and stuff like that. So nothing, nothing serious. And the times that the first couple times that I had the, the windshield replaced, I didn't have to really pay anything for it just because of my auto insurance. Um, and so the, the, the windshields were replaced at no charge to me. And then the last time I had one replaced, I actually had to pay the deductible for it because of all of the new things that are in windshields. And it got to the point where windshields were too expensive for auto insurance to keep covering without charging a deductible on it. So at this point in time, I mean, if you don't have decent insurance and you had to have your windshield replaced, it would cost you, I don't even want to know how much. So I'm just hoping and praying that I never have a rock hit my windshield. It was such a pleasure riding with you. I'm glad. And I'm glad you, that you like my story about, um, about windshields because it wasn't that exciting of a story. But thank you for the tip. Um, but, yeah, I'm just hoping nothing ever happens to my windshield because if it did, uh, that would be bad. All right, nobody tell anybody. I am going to just completely turn around here because this person is right here. So this is the most illegal of Yui's. Um, nobody saw anything. And if you think that you saw something, I will deny it all. So, <laughs> all right, we're going to sneak right in here just like that. Ah! There we go. How are you doing, sir? I cut out a lot of time to pick you up. So, and you have nothing to say to me. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's hop on out. And I don't know where you're going. Now, this is one of those that if I look all around the HUD, it doesn't show me where you're going. So I'm going to actually open up my map. And now let's see if that's going to show me where you're going. Or is it just because that, now it does? Okay, so now it actually puts on the HUD how far away it is that you're going. Which is good, because I, I just that's all I wanted to see is how far was it to your destination. And now I know. Okay, now let's have some roundabout fun. Um, this ought to be interesting. Uh, we got an accident up here in front of us. Um, and now we're going to kind of go around this. We got this gentleman here who's kind of pondering his life choices. And, okay, we're out. There we go. So let's see. Uh, everything is a computer on it. <laughs> yeah, everything is absolutely a computer on a new vehicle. No doubt about it. Um, that's why I drive a 90s GMC. <laughs> that's probably a good idea. I mean, if you can keep those things running, absolutely do it. No doubt about it. You can't go wrong with an older vehicle if you can keep it, if you can keep it running. Because um, they definitely made them good back then. No doubt. All right, the Cinema Coliseum. On the run, we picked that one up. That is great. Um, so let's see. Um, computerized cars machines, always more expensive than mechanical machines. Yeah, and it feels like they also build in a, uh, like a, I forget what they call it, but I mean, it's like they, they, they fail on a regular enough basis that you have to replace them routinely. I forget what the name of that is, but it's, uh, it's definitely a thing. And uh, I don't know what the light is here. 
So yeah, it feels like they 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 design those things to fail routinely enough that you have to replace them, um, which is also a wonderful facet of our lives at this point in time that uh, you can count on the thing that you have to only last for a, a certain amount of time before you then have to get a different one. So let's see. Uh, where are we off to? We're off to this way. All right, 4.30. So our, the person who's working for us should be pretty close to being done for the day. Oh, why did I hit the handbrake? I wanted to turn off my turn signal. Um, I don't know why I did that. All right, so right turn here. And then we should be there. Let's see. I would call that fraud on the side of the manufacturer. Uh, yeah. I don't think the manufacturer is going to care, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, they do use cheap parts these days. They, they don't make a lot of the parts the way that they used to. Um, it's, a, it's a different world that we live in. Um, but unfortunately, what can you do? It's just, it's, it's what we have. So it's... Uh, just the sign of the times. What can you do? Um, I feel like I'm old, but the world is moving way too fast. Uh, do you so, know what's uh, worth seeing in Barcelona? Uh, didn't I talk to you before? And didn't you ask me the same question? Um, we'll say the beach this time. How about that? The beach is always a good choice. I'm more into sightseeing. Okay, you don't want to see the beach. Um, how about uh, we'll praise you then? It's better than getting bored with some history lessons. I don't find oh, no. about history boring. Oh, boy. I think I made him mad. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, it was an interesting conversation. <laughs> okay. That qualified as an interesting conversation. I basically insulted the guy twice, and I still got 100 experience points for doing it. Um, okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, I wouldn't have expected to get 100 experience points for insulting a guy twice, but... Uh, the game's feeling nice to me. Uh, Nirak, how you doing? Kibu, how you doing? Hello. Good to see you. Happy Thursday to you. It's Chill Vibe Thursday here on City Life, or Taxi Life, a city driving simulator here in Rusty Champagne Land. So we're going to hang a right turn here and drop you. Are we? Oh, oh, yeah, we're driving. Yeah, we're driving to the destination point. Here we go. So we're going to drop you off right here after I insulted you. Uh, thank you, and please get out of my car. There we go. And we got another one that's close, and it's going to give us 300 to 450 experience points, and that will get us up to level 7. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, we'll pick that one up. And we're going to hit the handbrake here. I'm going to take a quick drink of water, because we can. I had a massive failure in my computer system of a seven-month-old car. The manufacturer refused to do anything but extend my warranty. That stinks. I'm very sorry to hear that. That really stinks. Uh, manufacturers can be real, real you-know-whats <laughs> with stuff like that. I am sorry to hear that. That's for sure. Uh, it is over here currently 9.17 p.m. in this part of the world. Um, 9.17 p.m. Central Daylight Time over here. So, man, and it's 2.17 and you're uh, 2.17 over there and you're watching me. You should be in bed. <laughs> but I'm glad that you're up and I'm glad that you're watching and I hope that you're having a fun time. So thank you for watching at 2.17 in the morning. Uh, that is very much appreciated. Um, if it were 2.17 in the morning, my eyes would be completely shut. Um, and my head would be on my pillow. But, yeah, once again, thank you for being here that late. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who joined later and are wondering about future live streams, um, we will have another live stream tomorrow. It will be at 4 o'clock Central Daylight Time, which is 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific, 9 o'clock um, on the other side of the ocean. And that will be, once again, Supermarket Simulator. So we will get back into the wonderful world of the supermarket called Supermarket. Um, the next live stream after that will be on Sunday. And that will be at 12 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And that will probably also be Supermarket Simulator. Um, we will probably have our normal streams 
um, next Monday and Wednesday, although I'm not completely sure because the two that I know for sure that I'm going to do next week, um, I'm definitely going to be doing a stream next Thursday, and that will be at 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and that will be of the new gas station simulator DLC that's coming out called Tidal Wave. So I will definitely be doing that one on Thursday because that's going to be a new release. And I definitely want to get that one up here live for all of you to see and for all of us to enjoy. Um, I believe also that on Tuesday of next week, um, there's a new one coming out called Real Estate Simulator that I also, if that one is coming out on Tuesday, and I need to confirm that, but I believe that the release date is Tuesday. And if that one's coming out on Tuesday, I also want to be doing that one live as well on release day. So depending on those, that may change the other part of the uh, stream schedule. So if those things are coming out on Tuesday and Thursday, then we will definitely have streams on Tuesday and Thursday, and then we'll kind of work around it from there. But for those new releases, I definitely want to get those out and available for all of us to see, because I think that those are going to be a lot of fun. So uh, this person has nothing to say to us. So why don't you have anything to say to us, ma'am? Um, that's okay. That's fine. So uh, Saspe, uh, thank you and have a wonderful night. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope you have a good night too. Um, and you keep being you as well. Um, always be awesome because you always are. So, so yeah, that's the upcoming live schedule stream or live schedule stream. Um, I say words in the correct order sometimes. Um, that's the live stream schedule. Uh, and, of course, we'll still have other content in between because you know that we always have the videos in the morning. And we uh, on days where we don't have a live stream, we'll also have an evening video. So you can always count on that because we always make sure that we have the content for you because that is what it is all about. So, but, yeah, we'll have, uh, yeah, we'll have those coming up as live streams. <clears throat> with other things thrown in for all the variety. So there we go. We're going to wait for this person. I've been around this round about several times now. That's for sure. Uh, cool now. How you doing? Hello. How's it going? Acts like the AI turns around in the crosswalk. <laughs> These pedestrians, they, they are very fickle about where they're going. They, they sometimes have an idea. Whoa. That was a bad accident there. Um, thankfully, I got out of the way of it. Uh, how you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful night. Happy Thursday to you. It's a chill vibe Thursday here on Rusty Champagne in our Taxi Life driving simulator. Uh, let's see. We will be going tonight until about 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. So about another 37 minutes we will be going here tonight in case people are wondering. Um, so, yeah, we got 37 more minutes of driving. We're going to see if we can get ourselves up to level 7. That shouldn't be any issue at all. And then after that, um, I don't know where this person is going because they didn't show me on the map. So I'm going to open up the map, and we're going to see if we can find out. Now if we go back to the HUD, it should. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't put on the HUD how, long do you usually how far work? away there. How long do I usually work? Um, I was talking to these people, but I'll talk to you. Um, let's see. I normally work uh, I'm a short. I'm the boss, so I can take time off whenever I want. Oh, you're so lucky. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, it's just enough to make a decent wage and have some free time to do other things. I admire people who can manage their schedule and make good money. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, happy? Thank you for the compliment. So if I would have said superior, it would have probably sounded rather braggadocious. So I'm glad I didn't do that. It was another interesting conversation for another 150 experience points. How about that? Just strolling along on this back road. Uh, let's see. Hope everyone is well. I've been lurking. We call it Fridays in my household. <laughs> lurking is Fridays? So, oh, Stinger Beast, have a good night, man. Thank you again. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great night. We will definitely see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, you can try and stay up until 3 a.m. Awesome. Yeah, I won't keep you up any later than 3 a.m., 3 a.m., I promise. <laughs> we'll get you to bed. Yeah, if you're following NASCAR and F Formula One over there, I can totally understand why you'd have a, a crazy sleep schedule because those hours can get nuts for sure. So I can totally see that, especially if the NASCAR races are at night. That could really be a thing. So now I now I understand a little bit more. Uh, let's see. 
hope every um, Friday, Friday's Eve in my household. Yeah, Thursday is definitely Friday's Eve. I am looking forward to Friday. It should be a really nice weekend. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, the nice weather we had is unfortunately going away, but that's okay. It'll be getting back down closer to normal, and then it'll be better in a in a couple days. So we've been spoiled these past couple days with temperatures in the 70s, but that is not normal in central Illinois. So <laughs> that is a treat whenever we get it. All right, so how much further? Not much further now, only 300 and... 300 meters or so to your destination. All right, so now we're going to have all these passengers that decide to cross whenever they want to, and they will take their time about doing it. So Thursday, oh, yeah, Thursday's, yeah, I, yeah, you can count on me to always get something wrong. You know that cool now. Uh, <laughs> you can always count on Did I get any of those storms? Yeah, we did. Um, they weren't that bad. It seems like most of the storms actually went to the south of us. So uh, during the morning, it was raining pretty good, but not like major league storms. Like I know that there were some places that they were talking that there was going to be like some massive hail and stuff like that. And all that stuff that rolled through this afternoon missed us to the south, I think. So areas down like Mattoon, Tuscola, down that way, maybe Effingham, I think they all got hammered. But we, we got missed. So uh, the rain that we had was all in the morning. And again, it, it was raining pretty good, but it wasn't um, it wasn't terrible. Uh, I mean, as as far as rain goes around here, Ohio got rocked. Yeah, it's it, I know that some parts were really really getting it. It was really nasty. So, oh man, this is like a major league traffic jam up here. I'm going to see if any of this traffic moves, and if not, I'm going to pass them all on the left. Is anyone going to move? Are you going to move? Is everyone just letting these people in? Uh, all right, I'm going. Um, I'm not going to wait. So don't tell anybody, <laughs> but I got places to be. So uh, sorry, I'll pull over here. You didn't see this. Nobody saw this. Um, nobody saw me do this. <laughs> it's, it's fine. That's legal, isn't it? That was a legal maneuver. I'm pretty sure that was a legal maneuver. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it was a legal maneuver. You, you can feel free to disagree, but I'm going to say it was a legal maneuver. And this guy looks like he had an accident or something, so we're going to move over here. And we're going to swing around like this. So <laughs> every once in a while, you got to drive a little bit strange in this thing. That's, that's just part of it. Uh, I think we can go through here. Uh, we're going to do it, so there we go. And safely or somewhat safely to your destination, there we have it. And now she's saying, now I know why I didn't say anything to you. All right, so level seven. And how much money do we have now? Um, I am going to back out of here because I'm going to go back to the garage. I'm going to see if we can find a garage and uh, go from there. That guy is kind of like melting into the sidewalk. So the rain went up here in Canada in the evening. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, we just we got lucky that most of it missed us here. I mean, we did get some, but again, it wasn't really all that severe. So that was kind of nice that we uh, kind of got away from it because we'll we'll get we'll get it real good every once in a while. But today we were we were on the fortunate side. Okay, so let's take a look. Where is there a garage that's close? Um, what is the closest one? Is it here? Oh, man, that's going to be a long trip around in order to do that. So we're not going to do that. How about there? All right, that's an easier one. We'll just do that. There we go. Because now that we're level 7, we should have another perk point. So we're going to do this. I'm going to take a look here. I see that this person's coming this way. Now we should be able to hop out, not hit that post. So we're going to stop at the garage, get our next perk point, because we might as well. And we'll see what we can do with our additional perk. Um, car is still in pretty good shape. Believe it or not, I haven't done that much damage to the car, <laughs> which is which is good. Um, it would seem like I would have done a ton but to it, but apparently not. 
Uh, and there's another accident, and this guy is going to not hit me, which is good. I, I blame it on all these pedestrians up here. They're the reason for this. And this guy's going to cross back across again, as is this other guy. They're just, they, they just, they're not sure. They, they see something on one side of the street that looks interesting, and then they see something on the other side of the street that looks interesting. Um, and this guy's pondering his life choices. So, okay, now we're going. Because that guy's getting ready to cross the street again. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he just really likes going across the street. That's, that's really what it is. It's just a very compelling street. He must live somewhere around here and must really like that crosswalk. That's all I can figure is the case. So that's okay. We're, we're past him. Everything is good. Uh, this guy is uh, just kind of driving slow for the sake of going slow, so we'll go around him. And, yeah, it's a 30-mile-an-hour speed zone. That, that's okay. I'm, I'm doing 43. That's no big deal. Um, so, yeah, we're on our way to the garage. And then once we get to the garage, we'll get our next perk point. Still don't have enough money to get another car. We're about halfway to another car, so we won't be able to do that in this stream. But we will get we'll we'll get ourselves a little more skill, so that's good at least. Um, let's see, he left the stove on. Yeah, <laughs> but what side of the street does he live on? That's the thing. He's like, I left the stove on. Oh no, I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> he's just, he can't decide. Or maybe he left the stove on in one place and he left the uh, the washer on in the other place. I don't know. And he's like, I've got to go here first. No, i got to go here. No, i got to go here. Um, and it's just back and forth with him. The poor guy, he's so confused. He's like, i got to get somewhere. i got to get somewhere else. Um, it's, uh, it's a tough life he, lead, he leads. Oh, thank you, sir, for moving over. I really appreciate that. Um, give us a nice wide open lane. Um, how many of these people can I get in front of before I make this illegal left-hand turn? Whoa! About that many. And now we're going to go left. This probably is not legal, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because why not? And, again, if there's not a police officer around here to see it, it's perfectly legal. <laughs> That's not the truth in real life, and I do not condone that behavior. So don't take that as a rusty champagne says that you should break the law. I, I do not condone breaking the law in your car. But in a video game, sure, it's fine. Because that's okay. That's not real. Um, just don't do it in reality. So uh, this guy will eventually turn. It's just going to take him a while. Uh, maybe he's got a, maybe it's an old Flintstones car. That's all I can figure. <laughs> he's just like, oh, and then there's a pedestrian there. Now I understand why he stopped. I get it. All right, we're going to see if we can just kind of mosey past here and pick up this interesting piece of architecture. Can we see it? There we go. Perfect. Got it. Nice. All the interesting architecture. Can we see that one way back there? Is it? Uh, can we see it? No, we're probably too far away. Yeah, we're probably too far. Okay, that's fine. Uh, left turn here. Off this direction. And or were we supposed? Yeah, we were supposed to turn there. I thought we were. I, I thought I saw it pointing us that direction. We will eventually be at the garage, um, some point soon. And a right turn here. I probably should have picked a closer garage. This felt like it was the closest garage, but it feels like we've been driving halfway across town to get to it. Um, I feel like it's just a little bit further ahead. Now, this is kind of scary. I've got people in both lanes that both have their right turn signals on. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen here, but we're going to find out. Um, hopefully, one of them is going to move over. Um, okay, he turned off his turn signal, so we're going to get going this way because I know this guy's going to turn right. So there we go. Oh, and the garage is up here on the left. Okay, that's perfect. So we're going to kind of pull in here. I'm going to throw on my turn signal and hope that that gives everyone the indication that I'm turning. Not that that matters to them. I'm going to try to not run over that pedestrian. And there we go. All right, into the garage. So let's see what other perks we can get. We might as well fill up the car. 
So we'll do that. Everything else is in pretty good shape. So yeah, just our brakes are a little worn, but just a skosh. Now, if we look at our driver, okay, so we've got one skill point. So we can keep going down maintenance. So the car body is harder to get dirty. The decrease in cleanliness is reduced. As an added benefit, you can save time and money. Okay, or the company, drivers cost less money. Oh, I want that. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely. I want drivers to have uh, lower salaries. Yeah, let's do that for sure. And then what's after that? Fixed costs are cheaper for company cars. Your company saves money. Oh, yeah, because we're going to definitely have more and more drivers as, as time goes on. So, yeah, let's definitely do that. Make all that cheaper. Uh, let's see. If we look at our statistics, we've gone 64 kilometers. We've traveled 21 per day. We've discovered 15 monuments, three murals. We've had two unique conversations. Two unique conversations. How about that? One car bought, four parts bought. We hired one employee and we haven't fired him yet, so that's good. We completed 21 jobs, two challenges, and we've gone, the longest distance has been 4.8 kilometers, and our best tip is $316. That's pretty good. Okay. And now, let's see, where should we go from here? Let's take a look at our map again. Let's see what we got. So we got some... Is there a challenge close? Yeah, it looks like there's a challenge pretty close here. Let's see if we can get this challenge. Because we feel like driving fast again. So let's go over here. Let's see if we can pick up this challenge and get that taken care of. Because those are pretty fun. I do enjoy those. All right. Is there anyone coming either direction? Um, was there someone else coming that direction? Yes. All right. So, oh, I got to actually turn the car on. And let's go. So let's drive fast through town again. Um, let's run through that red light. And let's see if we can get ourselves another big tip. Because we do love big tips. That will definitely help us in our quest to get another car to add to the fleet. Assuming that we can get through this entire list of people that are turning right here. Um, let's see. These guys are all going to make it. I hope. Yeah, there we go. And now, yeah, I don't know where this guy's going, <laughs> uh, sir. Um, he was headed somewhere. I don't know where. All right, just ahead to our destination to pick up this passenger that we're going to drive very, very fast because they are going to give us a tip if we do. A big tip. So, all right. So, I think that you are going to be the one that gives us the big tip. Let's find out. Here we go. Pull in here nice and slowly. Are you the big tip passenger? I don't feel well. Please oh, man. Very carefully. You'll get a big tip when you do that. However, I will get really upset if you break a single traffic violation. Okay. So we got to go really, really fast, but not break the law. Okay. Um, that seems like an oxymoron. So we'll get a big tip, but we can't break the law. Um, so you want to go real fast so you don't do bad things in our car, but we also can't break the law. Um, okay. Uh, that uh, doesn't seem fair, but we'll do it. Um, all right. So we'll be nice. We'll actually stop here, and we'll actually turn on our turn signal, and we'll go this way, and we'll be good little boys and girls. Um, and we'll go this way, and again, I won't break the law, so I won't, I won't cause any traffic violations. So we're going to stop here. Just, just stay nice and easy in the car. And now we'll go. And we will maybe do a little bit of casual speeding. But I won't run red light. So we'll just do a little cat. Whoa. Let's uh, slow down. And we're going to cut this guy off on his turn. So, yeah. just We're, we're not breaking the law. Uh, at least not, not severely. Maybe just a little bit. The traffic lights in this inter intersection in front of us are not working properly. Um, these look like they're working properly. So, um, there we go. Yeah, you're working properly. Maybe at the next one up, they're not. So, okay. We're, we're being nice. We're being courteous. Just, just kind of be calm there in the car. Oh, these are the ones that are not working properly. Okay, there we go. All right. You're, you're doing fine back there. We're almost there. We're not that far away now. Um, we're pretty close. I'm not breaking the law. I promise I'm not breaking the law. See, I stopped at the stoplight. I'm not breaking the law. I don't want you to get upset. But I also don't want you to do bad things in the car. 
So <laughs> just hang on. We're almost there. Just a little bit more now. Um, we're turning here. Yeah, we're turning here. Just another 100 meters. Hang on. You can get out. You can throw yourself on the sidewalk, and then whatever happens, happens. But just let me get you there before anything bad happens in the car because this is a brand-new car, and I don't want to have to clean it that quickly. Um, sir, you're in my parking spot. Get out of my parking spot. <sighs> I know I'm incorrectly parked because this guy's in my parking spot. Urgh! Okay, there we go. Do we still get the big tip? We do. How about that? Thank you very much. Um, do you, oh, wow. Holy cow. An 820 credit tip. Whoa. That's big. Okay. I didn't expect that as a tip. That that goes a long way towards a car. Um, and then we got this other one who's going to pay us 750 So let's definitely take that task. Man. Make your money hand over fist now. How about that? Oh, I should probably get out of the road um, because someone will run me over if I don't. So let's get out of the road. Handbrake off. And uh, can I break an occasional law here? Yeah, I can. Because, um, yeah, you're right here. Oh, yeah, I'm on the wrong side of the road. I, I'm driving the wrong way. Nobody saw this. Absolutely nobody saw this. Um, yeah. <laughs> and on top of that, she's like, you're driving the wrong way. But it's perfectly fine. So she doesn't apparently care that we're driving the wrong way. Um, okay, I've got to I've got to get myself also going the wrong way um, to uh, get myself. Remove this awful buck from the window. Um, all right, uh, someone else that wants us to use our windshield wipers. Uh, not with that. We're gonna go with this. So uh, our windshield wipers. There we go. Turn those on. I've got this person over here is looking at me like, why are you going this way? Um, so how are we going to get ourselves out of this? Uh, can we sneak in between you? We're going to try. Uh, all right, let's see if we can back up a little bit. And now can we do it? I think we can get through here. Ever so sneakily. There we go. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I, I drove poorly there. I admit it. And I deserve all of the, all of the blame for my bad driving. That's okay. It's perfectly fine. You know, I've never actually listened to the radio in this car. I wonder what the radio sounds like. Let's get up to this light. We can turn on the radio. See what kind of tunes we have in this thing. Um, oh, shoot. The light turned on me. Um, all right. Let's see if I can get going this way. Get myself going real slowly. And then I can do this because it will throw us in slow-mo. Uh, radio. Okay. Let's see. What other stations do we have? Um, Groove City. Uh, what else do we have? Um, Radio Classic. And what, uh, what else do we have here? Um, it's not changing now. So, I, oh, maybe we got to go the other way. Let's see. Uh, we'll do some Groove City. I'm feeling that. There we go. Just jamming along on the Barcelona streets with our Groove City radio on. I've, I've never listened to this radio station, so... It's got a vibe. It's got a Thursday night vibe, I would say. I'm, I, I'm feeling it. So, yeah. All right. Wow, this person is three kilometers away. Now I know why we're making so much money for it. Now I understand. Okay. Uh, left turn here. I don't know why we're turning left when the thing says to go straight, but I'm not going to argue with it. It knows what it's doing, so I'm just going to kind of go with it. Um, yeah, that was a strange turn choice. Maybe the light in front of me was, or maybe the road in front of me was a one way going the opposite direction. That's the only thing I can figure. And it's 7.30 here in the lovely streets of Barcelona. So yeah, we've, we've been on the road for like 10 hours now. Wow. We've definitely been going. I don't know what my other cabbie did, and I don't know how we find that out. And maybe we can find it out at the end of the day. Uh, let's not hit that lady, whatever we do. And, yeah, that'll be interesting to find out. Because I don't know. I mean, we have a cabbie. And they drove for us today. But I don't know how much money they made us. So, I'm sure that we can find that out eventually. Um, we'll, we'll see if we can, like, maybe go into the management screen. And see if that will tell us. Because it would be good to know exactly how they're doing. And if they did good in the area of town that we had them. But, yeah, I, I really have no idea. 
And how much money do we have now? We have 3,200. So yeah, we'll be we're we're getting pretty close. I mean, after this fair, we'll be uh, we'll be about four fifths of the way towards a new car, and then we can have two cabbies going. That guy completely blew through the red light. Um, he apparently didn't care. This lady's also thinking about which way she wants to go, and she seems fine. All right, so now we're gonna get going. Now, can I kind of slowly peek my head over here towards this interesting architecture? Can we get this one that's right here somewhere? Can I slow down and get it? Um, is it back there? No, I can't. I was probably too far away. No big deal. We'll pick that up another time. All right, so still two and a half kilometers on this one. Yeah, this is a long trip, but that's fine. Oh, come on, sir. Come on through. There you go. And you made it, and I didn't even hit you. And we will continue on our journey. This is very groovy music. I will give it that. It is extremely groovy. Um, as we continue cruising along, down to two kilometers now. So we're getting a little bit closer. I've only gotten one speeding ticket in this game, and that was when I was speeding directly in front of a police officer. But aside from that, I don't think that the game ever really concerns itself with how fast you're going. As long as you don't have a police officer around you, I think you're okay. So you just got to watch out whenever you have police officers, in front, police officers in front of you. I remember the first time I played this game, and I saw a police officer, and I thought it was a competing cab company. And someone in the comments said, no, that's not a competing cab company. That's a police officer. I'm like, oh, yeah. That makes more sense. So <laughs> I I showed off my naivete on, on that particular day. So, all right, we're still a kilometer and a half, and it still feels like we're not going in a very direct line towards our destination. But I'm trusting the GPS here because they seem to know what they're talking about. Yeah, this, this music definitely has a vibe to it. Just a little bit. We're just kind of cruising along. Again, it's Chill Vibe Thursday here in Rusty Champagne. Um, that guy stopped for no particular reason, um, which is okay because we got past him. And there's some more interesting architecture that's over here that I might be able to sneak a peek at. Is it busy for me today? It is busy for me today. I've been running around the city nonstop since this morning. That is pretty accurate. That sounds tiring. Um, what is she going to say? I'm happy to be able to earn a lot of money on a busy day like this. It must be hard to keep up with the demand, though. It can be. Um, let's see. Motivation. Uh, should we do motivation? Yeah, let's do motivation. It's not always easy to stay motivated, but I'm used to it right now. It's good that you have a positive attitude towards it. I do try to have a positive attitude, that's for sure. Yeah, I suppose so. All the interesting conversations we've had today. <laughs> So many interesting conversations that have been had on our trip through Barcelona on this particular day. But we're getting lots of experience for it, so that's nice. I mean, if they're going to give us XP for having interesting conversations, I'll keep having interesting conversations. That's perfectly fine. Um, this is a cool-looking piece of architecture here. I'm assuming that this is one that we got to be able to... Oh, we already got that one. Okay. That does look cool, though. Oh, I got to make a right turn here. I'm going to totally cut this guy off when I make this turn. Don't tell him. Um, we're just going to have to go off the line a lot faster than he does. There we go. Sorry, sir. Um, you didn't see that. Nothing happened. You you can't prove a thing. And then we're going to go here. Whoa! And you're going to go that way. I'm going to go this way, and we'll all be fine. Okay. So are we still... Man, we're still three-quarters of a kilometer away. This is just like the trip that never ends. But she seems happy because we talked to her, so that took away from all of her impatience. So that's nice. We'll we'll still get a nice amount of money from it, so I'll, I can deal with that. And this is the first time that I played this game that I ever had anyone have any conversations with me. So that's that was kind of cool to see. And apparently you can be as kind or as arrogant as you want with your passengers, just like a regular taxi driver. So it's it's quite accurate like that. Uh, this guy is pulling off in some interesting direction. And now we're going to go this way. All right. We're almost there. No, we're still a half a kilometer away. 
and they need, apparently need to go to the right. I feel like I have taken the longest way around to drop this passenger off. There must have been a much more direct line for this passenger, and I feel like I have not taken it. But I don't know. Uh, where is the turn? It's up here. Okay, so we're going to turn up here, so I need to get in behind this person for sure. Um, yeah. Is it one up ahead? Yeah, it's one up ahead. That's right. And you're turning there. Okay, so we're going to turn here. Perfect. And then, yeah, this all seems so familiar. I definitely feel like we've been through here before. Um, these streets all look very, very familiar to me. And this guy's going to cross right in front of me, aren't you? Yep, you are. You were just waiting. I knew it. In the yellow and gold tracksuit, or the yellow and black tracksuit. Okay, how much further? Just 100 meters up that direction. But we got to go completely around the block to get you there because these are all one-way streets through here. All right, a right turn here. And then a right turn over there. And we'll be fine. And how are we doing here? How are we doing? Yeah, I think we're going to make our way to the garage after this. I think that that will probably be the end of our shift. So, yeah, we're going to drop this lady off and find out where the nearest garage is. And that will probably take care of the champ taxi for the day. Let's see. Uh, how much money did she give us for that one? Uh, 664. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Uh, we are not going to take that task. We are going to drop that one off. And we are going to throw on the handbrake. And we're going to turn off this radio station because I think I've had enough of this radio station for the day. Uh, so let's go to the radio, and we're going to turn that off. There we go. <laughs> That's enough radio for my liking. Okay, let's see. Where is the nearest garage? It is, um, if I hit this, the nearest garage is going to probably be not, that's going to be a bunch of crazy turns again. How about here? That's going to be easier. Okay. All right. Let us get to the garage Maybe take a look at the management screen, see what we might be able to see about our fellow cabbie that was working today. Maybe that'll give us some information about them. And uh, and then, yeah, we should be in pretty good shape. So once again, for those of you who may have been showing up later, uh, in case you're wondering about the next live stream, the next live stream will be tomorrow at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Daylight Time. And we will be doing another stream of Supermarket Simulator tomorrow. Uh, the next stream after that will be on Sunday at 12 o'clock Central Daylight Time. Will probably also be Supermarket Simulator. And then next week for sure, uh, there will be streams on Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday for sure, because Thursday is the, uh, the uh, re new release for Gas Station Simulator Tidal Wave. And then I believe on Tuesday, it's the new release for uh, Real Estate Simulator. So we will have those, and those will both be at 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And then there could be other streams on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'll just have to see how the, the rest of the week is looking from there. So that's the upcoming live stream schedule. And, of course, we will still have other content other than the live streams. But just in case you're wondering when the next live stream is, there you go. So, all right. We're going to just sneak into the garage here just nice and slow nice and easy there we go handbrake on let's enter the garage okay so now i want to go up here to the management screen and let's see um so all we know is that we uh if we go to finances does that tell us anything um or do we not know maybe we know at the end of the day and maybe because the day's not over we don't know how much money she made Maybe that's what it is. I'll, I'll, we'll have to check that out tomorrow or uh, the next day in game time. We'll have to check that out and see if we can figure out more about exactly how much money Inez made for us. Because right now it doesn't look like Inez did all that good for us. It cost us $358 and we made nothing. But I'm assuming that money was actually made and we just don't know um, because it was, uh, it, it's just probably because the day is not over. So that is my guess. So we shall see on that one. Oh, and let's see. There we go. I like our new car. I'd like it even more if we could change our own license plates, but I do like our new car. It is kind of styling. And pretty soon we'll be able to get a new one. 
And, uh, and yeah, we'll be in pretty good shape. So, yeah, this was a fun night. I like our Thursday night chill vibes. Those are pretty good. Um, I hope you guys had fun as well. It was a real fun night. Yeah, it was definitely toe-tapping music. Uh, but that is going to be all for now. Uh, for all of you that are here watching and for those of you who have been here the entire time and for those of you who even came in later, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending your, your Thursday night with me. It was a really fun time. I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, Dark Angel 332, welcome to Rusty Champagne, and thank you so much for the follow on Twitch. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday, just as we're coming to a close. Um, so, yeah, for those of you who are watching this later, um, and if you really like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. Uh, if you really like this video and you're not yet a subscriber, I would really appreciate it if you consider giving the channel a subscribe. Uh, but yeah, once again, thank you all for watching and thank you all for being here. You guys are all awesome and I love all of you. Until we meet again, I am Rusty Champagne. Thank you always for being a part of my silliness. And we will. See you later.